Let's watch a preview from the ABC After School special. Are you my mother? You've got to believe me. She didn't want to have anything to do with us. So we... we lost touch with her. I even hired detectives, but... but we can never find her. But you lied to me. You all lied to me. Brittany, stop! Please! Listen to oh, me! Man, my mother was dead! Why? I can explain. Why didn't you tell me about her? Brittany, you've got to listen to me, eh? and I'll tell you about her. How can you let her live like that? <laughs> you've got to believe me. She didn't want to have anything to do with us. So we... we lost touch with her. I even hired detectives, but... but we can never find her. But you lied to me. You all lied to me. But look, that is not fair. We were trying to protect you, Brittany. Don't you understand? You were, you were, you were just a baby at the time, and well, it seemed like at the time it seemed like the only way to handle it. I am not a baby anymore, and I have a right to know about my own mother. Yes, I know you do. You do, and I want you to know. But please, ask me anything you want. But please, try to give me a chance to help you to understand. Why is she like that? She's a, she's what's called a, a long-term schizophrenic. That means she has trouble keeping track of reality. And all that business about the CIA and the FBI being after her. She has delusions and, well, you saw, she's extremely paranoid. When did it happen? After I was born? No, 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 no. No, a long time before that. I started to notice a change just a few months after we were married. Anna was always a dreamy sort. Well, that was one of the things that attracted me to her. But then, then she started to get isolated into herself. Then finally, then finally she was severely disturbed. So, so she went into the hospital, and then, well, she seemed to be improving with medication. And when she came home, she seemed better. Then, oh, then when she had you, when she was pregnant with you, she seemed, she seemed so peaceful. I thought we were home free. Then a few months later, it started all over again. Only this time, much worse. So maybe if she hadn't had me, then everything would be... Oh, no, 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 listen, this, this has nothing to do with you. Don't you understand, Brittany? This, this is an illness, an illness that just took over. Oh. It was horrible. She went back into the hospital, and you... Well, you remember, you went to your grandmother. For a long time, I went to see her every day. But, you know, she would, she wouldn't even talk to me. So why did they let her go? I mean, from the hospital. Why, because they managed to stabilize her on medication. And, well, she did seem calmer for a while. They put her into a, into a halfway sort of house, you know, so she could try and, try and get back into a, into a normal way of life. Then one day she, she disappeared, just walked out. So what are we going to do now? I don't know. Keep your wits about you. Never know. Just never know. Hi. It's a nice day, don't you think? In Russia, it's a nice day. In Dallas, it's a nice day. Here, 
My name's Brittany. Brittany Gordon. Terrible name. Brittany's no good. KGB all over the place. You stay away from Britain, Miss Brittany. What's your name? Never mind my name. I'm a Russian princess. CIA, FBI, KGB, whole alphabet's after me. Why? They want my secrets. But I won't tell them. Not to anyone. Ever. All my things, I have to watch my things and protect them. Baby. You have a baby? Yes. He tried to poison me. He tried to poison me. No! No, wait! Come back here! Can Jerry do without me for another hour? I have to decide about the sweater. And there's a whole floor I haven't even looked at yet. Right. Glad you're having a good time. Just be here by noon, okay? Oh, sure. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey! Hey, you come back here with that! That's not yours! More. Who do you think you are, you and your, your friends there? You're going to take everything somebody has and go through it just for a good laugh? You'd go through everything she had in this whole world just, just so you could have some fun? Well, I was keeping it for someone until she came back. Honest. It's not yours either. It's Anna's. It's my friend, and I'm going to see that she gets... Is your friend Anna? No. She calls herself a Russian princess. Look, they're not your things. And you should just leave us alone. Oh, I didn't take... She laughed it. I scared her. I didn't mean to. It just happened. She's my mother. Look. I have a picture. Here. Look, that's her. And that's me when I was a baby. She's my mother, and I... I didn't even know she was alive. I just want to help her. You poor child. What if we don't find her? Oh, I'll find her. Don't worry about that. She'll show up sooner or later, if not here, then at the shelter. Shelter? What, what shelter? Oh, it's a place where they give out food. Sometimes when the weather's real bad, she'll sleep there in the chair. And when the weather's good, she sleeps outside? Well, my dad would get her a place to live. <laughs> Deary, the problem is not getting your mother a place. The problem is getting your mother a, to accept a place. Your mother is very confused. She gets frightened. You saw that. She's afraid to come inside. She's afraid that 
lie down. Do you sleep outdoors? <laughs> yeah, sometimes, when I have to. I had a nice place, so when my husband was alive. But it wasn't big. It was nice. Why don't you live there now? It's not enough money. Not enough money. I just couldn't find a job, and the rents went up, and I just couldn't find a place that I could afford to live. So, here I am, <laughs> under God's blue skies. <laughs> and it's sometimes not so blue skies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> don't feel sorry for me. Gosh, I got friends. Lots of nights I get a bed in that shelter. It's your mother. Mother, that we gotta worry about. Well, why don't you go back there again, hmm? Brittany. Brittany, it is a dangerous neighborhood. Well, look at you. You're, you're all upset. Of course I'm upset. I don't know where she is now. I don't know if she has her stuff back. I'll take care of this, all right? Daddy, would you stop trying to protect me? I don't need protection. Really? My mother does. I'm doing what I can. What do you mean? What are you doing? I've been on the phone all morning trying to find ways to have her hospitalized again. So at least she'll... she'll have a roof over her head and regular meals. But that is not so easy. See, if she's... if she's not a danger to herself or to other people, in other words, if she's, uh, if she's not violent, and then she can only go in voluntarily, and she won't do that. How do you know she won't? I saw her this morning, too. I guess we just missed each other. You're the one who gave her the sandwich and coffee? Yeah. Anyway, it was quite clear she'd, she'd never agreed to it. For an instant, I knew she recognized me. And she started saying I was from the CIA, and... Well, I just upset her. She told me you were there. I mean, that the CIA was around trying to poison her. Daddy, she even thought I was a spy. You know, I just... I just stayed there and watched her a few moments. She seemed almost peaceful at times, even, even happy. Maybe that's because she knows she's a Russian princess remembers the palace. She really doesn't even know who I am. <laughs> Daddy, I tried to tell her, but... I think that we should go back to that place that Madeline told us about. The, the place that she told me about. And talk to the nuns. Maybe they can help us get her settled someplace. Please, Brittany, let me deal with this. Now, you've seen her. You know how it is. I'll keep you informed, I promise. Look, there's even a chance that we can get her hospitalized again. And then you can, uh, well, you can come back here and visit her. Oh, I'm so glad you got here. You look terrific. Uh, uh, let's go meet Sister Regina. I told her all about you. You haven't found my mother yet? No, 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 but don't worry. She's going to show up sooner or later. Don't worry. We got lots of people looking around, keeping an eye out for her. Oh, good. Thank you. Sister, this is the girl I told you about, the one that had Natasha's card. Good afternoon, sister. You're Brittany Gordon. Yes, I am. Her name's Anna. Anna Gordon. Well, I'm very glad to meet you, Brittany Gordon. Anna Gordon, huh? Well, at least now we have a legal name for your mother. You know, Brittany, you can tell us things that will help your mother. I can. Of course you can. Please sit down. Now, let's put our heads together and try to figure out a way to get our Russian princess to come indoors and rest herself. I brought her some new clothes and a hat. Oh, that's wonderful. Brittany, tell me about your father. Does he know where Anna is? Well, now he does, but he didn't for years. 
She didn't want to have anything to do with him. With any of us. That happens sometimes. Come in. She's here. She's scared. She won't come in. Well, well I could go. And I, I could get her to come in. Oh, oh, I'll go. Now, Brittany, I think we should wait here for a few minutes. See, we might frighten her off at this point. Madeline handles these things best. Okay. Tasha! Hi, we've got to go inside. Huh? It's nice and warm. Maybe we'll get a little something to eat, huh? I didn't tell my baby. Oh. They got oh. everything else, but they didn't tell my baby. Yeah, that's good. So that's why we should go inside where it's nice and safe, huh? No, catch me in there. It's not my baby. No, no, no. You can hide in there. It's real warm and safe, and you can hide. And I'll be with you. I'll stay with you. You'll see. Come on. You're gonna like it. You and wait, wait, wait. You'll see. And look See, everything's gonna be all right. You'll see. So, we'll just sit here a bit. Maybe, maybe we'll have something to eat. Oh, it was terrible out there. They've been chasing me all over town. Oh. I feel awful. Oh, I know. I know. My father's trying to find a mental hospital that'll take her. Anna would never agree to that. Oh, I hope he doesn't try to force it. Brittany, you can help her here. Let's talk to your father. You know, we're making some real progress with Anna. Well, she'll stay indoors some nights, even if she won't lie down. And we're getting her to see a psychiatrist and putting her back on medication. That'll make a big difference. Do you think she'll be afraid of me now? I mean, maybe she'll just run away and then you can't help her. No, we'll take it slowly. Madeline has a good feel for these things. But it's going to take a lot of time and patience. Hi, come on. No, no, it's all right. Oh, I asked her who took her cart. She says a 10-foot Russian Cossack. So come on, you're not going to scare her. Are you sure? I don't want her to run away again. Oh, yeah, just don't, don't tell her about being her little girl. Just tell her, just try to be her friend. Don't try to tell me this isn't poison. I know it's poison. You're trying to kill me. You're trying to kill me. <laughs> She does that sometimes. She doesn't eat for about three days at a time. They think they can help smart me. Look at this stuff. Look at it. It's all poison. Look. Well, what if I took a bite? I mean, if I take a bite and nothing happens to me, then you'll know it's okay. Right? So, go ahead. Taste. for the street people, of course, and uh, a lot of special effects. Now, I'd, I'd like to contrast the haves and the have-nots, like uh, this fellow eating in the posh restaurant and, uh, or this one, picking through the garbage for scraps. Well, maybe use the same actor for both. As I said, the 
The idea is to stylize the visuals. High tech. Uh, a little upbeat. Well, what do you think? Sounds good to me. You're a teenager, what do you think? You can be honest, even though this is your father sitting right over here. And your boss. <laughs> do you like it? Um, not really. Why? Well, I love the song and the lyrics, but the idea of making the video stylized and upbeat, it seems funny to me. I think it should be more realistic, like your lyrics and what Jerry shot downtown. Daddy, homelessness is a big problem. It should be shown more realistically. It shouldn't be sugar-coated. Yeah, but you can't show that to teenagers. I mean, kids just don't want to see that. Why not? Why? Because, apart from you, Brittany, I don't think that anyone is interested. Who said no one's interested? Why do you think kids don't care? Maybe if you let us in on what's going on, we could make a difference. You could give us a chance if you just stop protecting us and babying us and lying to us. I'm sorry. That makes sense. Okay, honey. There she is, Dad. She's wearing the hat I got for her. Regina and Madeline are watching out for her. And I'm watching out for her now, too. You can call her any time you want. Brittany, talk to me. What's wrong? I want to live with you, Daddy. <laughs> Don't your grandparents take good care of you? You know they do, and so do you. But they miss you. I know. But they'll understand, and I'll visit them. Yes, well, I, I can't... You don't want me. Of course I want you, it's just that I... Uh... I wouldn't be any trouble, and I would eat meat, and I can... Brittany, no, don't you understand? I can't take care of you. After what happened to your mother. I mean, I'm, I'm afraid I'm just... Not capable of it. You haven't even had a chance to be a good father. Tell me again what you want. I want us to take care of my mother. And I want you to take care of me. Then that's the way it's gonna be. Really? Mm -hmm. I can stay? Sure. Oh, I love you, Daddy. Number two. Free to survive rain and rain. To no hunger and pain. Desolation complete. This is life on the street. It's you like some poor faded rose. It's searching for garbage to eat. It's me and these hand-me-down clothes. Lost in this life on the street. We're hiding in doorways alone. American dreamers asleep. This castle of cardboard is home. Lost in this life on the street. How can you call yourselves kind? Out of sight, out of mind Oh, sweet home, ain't so 
Kingdom comes alive in the network television premiere of the animated classic, That Magical Tale of Adventure and Romance, Robin Hood, on the Disney Sunday movie. Be watching for this entertainment-packed family presentation tomorrow night at 7 o'clock right here on ABC.